welcome everyone. Today we have a new guide for ZZZ. As you can see behind me, I have just reached level 20. And in this video, I have made a step-by-step -step guide to show you guys all my progression and also some of the fastest method to reach level 20 and also to go beyond without refilling, without spending any money in the game. And what are the method? How do you skip stories? How do you go faster with the stories and also progress faster in the game? And all the tricks I have learned as I play the game. So let's go through this video and I have prepared a lot of notes for you guys. Now, in order to provide you guys a step-by-step -step guide, I have been taking notes as I level my character. So for the first 20 minutes of the game, I was using my rerolling method to try to get myself lucky with additional s rank characters. And if you have seen my previous video, I was pretty lucky. I got Laken and also I got Grace after getting my 50-50. So here is the screenshot. So after 15 minutes into the game, you should be able to get 50 standard summons to get your first guaranteed s rank character. And this will be essential. Once you have gotten your character, I'll recommend trying to get her to level 10 or him to level 10 and then follow by getting the equipment to level 10 and make sure they're using at least an A rank weapon. The weapon difference will make a big deal as you play the game. So here the weapon has 200 attack and the unupgraded weapon only have about 32 attack. So as you acquire your characters, the next step is to continue play the story for the next one to two hours. This really depends on how fast you click and also if you want to skip the story. During this time, you cannot spend energy until you reach account level 10. And once you reach account level 10, you can then use energy to farm materials to rank up your characters and also to ascend your characters. Now, one thing to highlight, if you guys have a look at my energy levels over here, I have purposely lowered my energy below 240, but I have also not spent all of it this is because I know once I get to level 20, I'll unlock high difficulties, and this means I'll get more reward for playing high difficulties. So I'm saving my energy after level 20 before I spend them. Now, one of the ways you can start spending energy after rank 10 or character level 10 is coming over to the virtual reality section and start to select monsters. Now, the game will promote you to select three monsters, and for me, I just want to spend a bit of my energy. So I actually deselected the three monsters into one monster. So this way I'm only spending 20 energy per fight. And this allows me to make a max energy I have in order to get the most out of the game. Now, as we continue to this part, you do want to click all the red icons as you find them, including the event, the quest, the community event, anything that's related, including the workbench will give you additional promo polychromes or just call them gems. As you acquire those additional items, you can then start to summon for your characters and having additional characters will help you the most. So I recommend spending your polychromes onto the limited banner for Ilan. Don't go for the weapon banner yet. This can be a big bait. Any standard banner summons you get, you can dump those over here. You can see I have made 91 summons on the standard banner. And finally, you'll be unlocking the pet summons very, very soon. Now, during this time, after going beyond level 10, you can rest a bit because there's still a little bit more to play as you get to level 20. It is optional, guys, if you want to skip the story. Because we can rewatch it later, if you want to push faster before the daily reset, this could be an option. The second thing you want to notice is as you play the game, sometimes the game will provide you with a team of characters that just is a trial character that is quite weak. But what you can do is you can actually disable the trial by clicking the button at the bottom of the screen and use your own team of S rank and also stronger characters. This can help you to go through the game a little faster. Around this time, you want to transcend and also level your characters and also main weapons to level 20. Now, I don't have any special weapons and the two characters I have, I have focused on getting Lycan, Grace, Billy and also Anton to level 20. Together with the weapons they have, I have gotten the weapons to level 20. And those are the only times I spent energy on. So I was spending energy onto the, onto the boss monsters so I can have enough essential materials for weapons and also characters to get to level 20. And then I go back to the main story. Now, during this time, likely you guys will be playing the Hollow Zero and also additional events. It is very important to understand and also use the highlight and also <laughs> what I mean is to use the fast forward button. So let me show you guys an example over here. So notice here, I'm just spinning on some of the Jack Lottery pot. 
and this can take a little time as you click through it. But let me fast forward a little bit. If you actually press T or the fast forward button on your game, this will dramatically increase the speed of all the game mode in this particular section. And this will help you save so much time. You move faster and also you travel faster. Just make sure you have the fast forward button available and on the PC it is T. And once you have this one, you will go so much faster in those modes. Now during the time as you explore the zone for Hollow Zero, don't forget to scroll out and or zoom out, out of the game for a better vision to see where you're going. Now once you guys have reached level 15, don't forget to come for 10 more additional summons on the event page. Getting additional new character or duplicates of characters can make you stronger as you go. And while you're exploring the world, you can come for additional food for increase of attack. This only lasts for 3 rounds, but having additional attack and also additional damage can help you clear the monsters slightly faster. And as you go around in the city, make sure you complete all the errands before the daily reset. Those are like the daily commissions. So let me show you guys over here. The daily commissions will consist of 5 different quests. Maybe I can show you guys in the game. <laughs> hey, so if you come over to Compendium and then you go to errands, those are the ones you want to complete before the reset. The first four will be very easy, while the last one will require you to pick and also select the task yourself. It is very worthwhile to collect those because those will give you additional character experience and this will push you to level 20. Now as you complete the daily quest, you start to realize that the main story quest will start to get slower after level 15. And this is when you want to start doing the blue quest that is available in the game. The blue quests are the side quests and you can do those when available. And those will give you additional loot and also trigger you to go across different parts of the game. Now around level 16, you will unlock the zone for Hollow Zero. And this starts with the 600 point content. By completing this zone, it will push you over to level 17. And this will of course open up the pet shop. Once you come over to the pet shop guys, you can see that in the game I do have the pet summons. Once you come over to the pet shop, they will ask you to select one of the S rank guarantee character that will be available once you hit your pity and once you get your S rank character. So this is quite interesting. So before you summon, you should understand the pets. And my next video will be looking into the pets because the stats and also the pets have been updated. There is no longer weaker pets and some of the passives have changed. For me personally, I'm going with the Ellen team with Lycan, so I'm going with Shakpu for additional damage and also having two ice characters on the team. But if you're running a different team, I'll have additional guide for you guys to see which pet you want to pick at this stage of the game. Now during this time, you should always come over to the intercom. And here what I recommend is, you can use the intercom to find quests and also different events. First come over to notifications, then click help request information. There's a bunch of useless information over here and this will help you filter the quest you want. And once you filter the quest you want, you should accept and also reply to all the quests. And then come over to schedule and also activate those quests to allow you to follow up on the side quest. And this is one of the best ways to get additional experience without spending energy. During this time, you can get tons of experience as you play the side quest and this will trigger you to go for both exploration and also combat mode of the game. I have delayed going through those modes of the game simply because I know I can do those later. So if I come over to the random play section, then let me show you guys those modes over there. So the combats and also the challenges are, are located over here. And as you combine your side quest together with exploration quest, this is even more beneficial. Notice I didn't rush to complete those right away. I completed those when I had the side quest onto those. And this would give me additional chances to finish my side quest at the same time. And as you complete those, you're getting very close to level 19 and also level 20. During this time, you would have unlocked your side character story with Soldier 11. It is optional to play this side story, guys. This does not require any energy and this will push you close to level 20 with 500 bonus experience and also some additional gems. And finally guys, around this time, you can consider to spend some energy in exchange for character experience. Every 10 energy you spend will give you 100 character experience. But at the same time, I still had additional side quests I can complete. And by completing the qualification assessment for Hollow Zero, 
I was able to reach level 20 without doing any refills. So I'll show you guys over here. One of the reasons I'm planning to not do refills is I want to save refills before the end of the day. And you know the refill cost will go up. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to get to higher levels before spending my energy. So this way I'll get additional resource as I farm materials. Once I get to level 20, the resource will increase and the next threshold will be level 30, which will be coming probably the next day. So hopefully this gives you guys a concise enough summary how to go from level 1 to level 20 as fast as you can as you push through the story and all the tricks and also methods regards to the game. As you can see, I have not gotten the special limited characters and my weapons are not going to be the strongest. But even with those characters at level 20, we can clear all the content and get to level 20 very fast. And after that, we'll aim for level 22 and also additional threshold as we continue to play the game. And hopefully I can get my Ellen and also showcase her to you guys as a free to play character and her best weapons. So stay tuned for additional guides on the paths, on the characters and also on the weapon tier list for ZZZ.